Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using imports in less. Imports basically allow you to take all of the less styling from a particular file and import it into another file. And these can really help make your less and your CSS a lot more modular. So over here, I have two files. The first one is this button.less file. And in here, I just have some basic less code. I'm defining a color variable up here. And then down here, I'm using that color variable to style a button. And what I want to do is I want to import the code from this button.less file into this style.less file. So this style.less file is hooked up to my HTML over here. So whatever styling goes in here is going to show up on my web browser. And the way I can import that button.less file is I can just type at import and then inside of quotation marks, I can just type the name of the file. So it'll just be button. And if this was in like a sub, this is like the relative path to the file. So if this was in a subdirectory, then I would just put like, you know, the subdirectory name and then button. So what this will do is this will import all of the less code from this button file. So when I refresh the page, we should end up with a red button down here. And you'll see that we do. So all of this code is getting updated over here. So if I was to change this to blue, for example, then I can come over here and it'll change there. So I'm basically just importing the code from this file. And it's important to note that any of the code that you put inside of this less file will override the code that's getting imported. So in this button file, we had this variable called color. I could actually override that variable inside of this file. So if I made another, if I made a variable here called color and I change it to green, now this button will change to green because I'm overriding it. And you can see it changes to green. So, um, you know, any of the code that you import in here is gonna be able to be overridden. And that's actually uh, something that you can do. So you could define a bunch of variables in here. So you could prepend them with the file name. So I could say like button color. And that way, if I wanted to change any of the uh, styling inside of here, I wouldn't have to change this file. I could just change it in here by overriding those variables. So again, that just makes your files more modular and easier to deal with. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.